Hey friends, Tux here. For this particular video, I am pumped because I'll be talking about the brand new Sony MP3 player. And this isn't just any old MP3 player. Not only does it look kind of like a cassette player here, it's a high definition music player that has some amazing benefits and is sold out everywhere. And for this video, I'll be unboxing it first and then talking about my feelings about it after using it now for roughly about a week, actually. So there's a lot in here. If you want to fast forward through the unboxing, feel free. Okay. And there'll be some feelings later in the video about actual use and the sound and all the features of it, which are pretty amazing, I will say. Now, there will be a link down below. So click that link to get yours at the very best price. This has been sold out everywhere, but right now it is available for a short time and it's bound to be sold out again because it's pretty amazing all right all right to the unboxing hey friends tux here i am super pumped because i have before you the new sony nwa 306 this is the highly sought after high-end digital audio player meant for hd enthusiasts to enjoy the purest best sounding audio but it has the features that would be in a much more expensive player for a much smaller price now we'll have a link for this right below so be sure and click the link to get yours at the best price but this is how it comes from amazon or from wherever you get it from it could be from sony amazon whatever retailer um, i personally prefer amazon but you can see it's very small it's very small form factor um, if you compare it to like a cell phone here's a cell phone here you can see it's uh, very similar in size um, but it is definitely smaller and we'll do some more comparisons in a little bit but my the first impression I got the box was a little smaller than I anticipated now the box itself is beautiful we got a nice little picture over here of the player it talks about this is a 32 gigabyte one this is for high-res audio so this is high definition audio it's LDAC so very cool on the back here it talks about supporting formats like mp3 WMA a AAC, FLAC, I use a lot of FLAC for HD audio, WAVE, HEAC, Appalossus, AIFF, DSD, MQA, APE, MP3, um, and more and more and more. Now on the other side here, it does talk about, um, it is a DSEE Ultimate player. This is S Master HX, which is high res audio amplifier. So actually it will help amplify the music. Wi-Fi certified, of course, Bluetooth, and more about that in a little bit. And this is considered an A-series player. Okay, so this is a digital multimedia player meant for playing high-end, high-definition audio. Let's go ahead and open this up. We'll check it out together. We will pop the top here. I'm gonna try to keep this nice. Let me see if I can get this top. Looks like one of these little fancy cardboard flip tops. Let me see. There we go, got the top popped here. And we'll open this up. We're good with the barcode, all sorts of fancy little colors, very interesting. And we'll pop this here. And slide out his nice little white box on the inside here. So we'll pull this out. There we go, and here we go, guys. And here is our player. So you can see, um, tell you what, we'll take a look at the accessories first. Let me pull out the player here. You can see a very small man. It's like a little bigger than the Zune, but definitely smaller than other players. Um, but more about that in a second. Let's see what else we have here in the box. We'll, we'll pull open the top here and see what kind of weird little accessories they give us. And it looks like the only real accessories here, the only thing they give us is a cable. And you can see this is a um, USB to USB-C cable. So this will work with all of your other electronics, which is really good. So if you're on a trip, you can use the same charger to charge them. Um, I have found sometimes transferring data files with USB-C, um, certain cables, but it's like a cheaper cable, may not be as efficient as using the actual cable that comes with it. There's different qualities involved. Um, but anyway, so this is a nice cable, so we'll leave that there. I am happy they include a new cable with a new device. That is very cool. We have all sorts of literature here in various languages, so very interesting. Um, looks like this one here just talks about how to hook up the player to computers. Yeah, let me unfold this here real quick. Is this the same thing in different languages? Let's see. Yeah, they give us different um, <laughs> SR codes. Wow, this is really folded up here. So it talks about swiping, talks about using the player menus, power on and off how to swipe up and down, all sorts of stuff. It talks about using it for Mac too, so this can be used on Mac or for PC. Other things, looks like we have a little thing here from Sony. This is just probably a little propaganda. Listing for a lifetime, CEA, Consumer Electronics Association. Talks about how to establish a safe level, not listening to your music too loud, etc., etc. Good tips. 
um, other literature, warranty cards, just the usual stuff. You don't really care about that though, do you? No. <laughs> Let's take a look at the player here. Um, now, first impressions here. This is pretty heavy, actually. This is heavier than I thought. My dove is cooing up a storm in the background, so I apologize. Um, very heavy little player. Um, and this is interesting. It's wrapped in this like interesting, like almost like wax paper material. So that surprises me a little bit. And here it's kind of safely put in there. Let's go ahead and we'll pull open the tissue paper. Or maybe we can just slide it out. I hate ripping this. Let me see here. Very, very nice metal. You can tell it's definitely heavy. And here it is, guys. So you can see, very cool. This is one solid piece of metal here. We got the little Sony Walkman logo there. Very cool. On the bottom, we are featuring a 3.5. Um, there is a little loop back for like a, like a little handle or whatever. The USB-C, so again, if you're not familiar, of course, the USB would be plugged in just like that. And this would be used for charging and also for data transfer. So you could plug this in your computer and then transfer the music files from your computer or laptop or whatever to the actual player. So keep that in mind. So I'll pop that off there. Here on the side, we do have a spot for a micro SD card. Again, this is a 32 gig version. Um, there is a hold lock. And then kind of going back to the days of like Walkmans, it actually has like a lot of the controls here on the side, kind of like a classic, you know, cassette Walkman, which is very interesting. Um, they're definitely doing some throwbacks here to, because Sony was back in the heyday, like one of the original companies with the Walkman. You know, in fact, Walkman is a Sony trademark term, you know, but everyone calls cassette players, portable cassette players, Walkmans, you know? So um, they definitely want to try and keep that alive since they have the, the kind of the trademark on Walkman. Um, no buttons up top interesting uh back no buttons but very nice i like the has a very interesting ribbed metal feel check that out and again this is one solid piece of i guess is cast aluminum so it's very solid it feels like a good amount of weight to it. it feels like a quality player um again on the bottom there's the bottom for you if you need to freeze that and take a picture or something this side here left side no buttons at all again top no buttons at all and the front here is the shiny shiny new sony player so let's go ahead and hit power and see if we have a little bit of power um, in it. Sometimes they come from the factory with a little bit of power charge. We'll hit this real quick and try and do a first boot up here. Let me hold it for 10 seconds. Here we go. You can see the menu a little better now. We got the Sony Word and Walkman and Android. Of course, this is an Android player. So very cool. Uses the latest Android for music lovers. That's interesting. And here we go. Got some good graphics going here. On the first boot up, kind of cool breathing sound speaker kind of look to it. Very fancy. And hi there. Okay, this is for setup. We have English. I'll take that. There we go. It's probably getting one my Wi-Fi password or something. So I may have to pause it here for a second. Looks like there's a terms of service here, which of course no one ever reads, <laughs> like the iPad South Park episode. Uh, we'll disagree, okay, I guess. Okay, and then there is a thing for screen lock. That's interesting. Um, to unlock it, please take care not to forget your pin or pattern once you lock the screen. Um, device won't work otherwise. Wow, very interesting. I guess you have to agree to that because they don't want any kind of legal concerns. There we go, I agree. Just have to press a little harder. And we're gonna hit next, there might be a plastic cover on here too. Now it's gonna search for Wi-Fi. Okay, so it's gonna look for my home Wi-Fi. Okay, so here's authenticating. Hopefully I got the password in. Um, it's a very small screen and without a stylus, um, it can be easy to hit the wrong button. So definitely take some care and time while entering the password to make sure it's right. It looks like we're still authenticating, which makes you think maybe I did the wrong password. Okay, once connected to the internet, you'll see here, it'll say getting your device ready takes a few minutes. So you can go through and basically register your device. It may have a few more prompts afterwards, but the trick is really just connecting to your Wi-Fi. Again, the screen is kind of small, so actually to type in a Wi-Fi password, um, it's very easy to hit the wrong letter um, because they are very small. That makes me wish this player in some ways was a little bigger, but it's really meant for convenience and you know, small size. So once you get that initial effort of pinging the Wi-Fi password in, it should be a lot simpler. Next up on our setup here, it's gonna talk about copy apps and data. So if you want, you can actually copy things from your Google account. Um, so if you actually have a lot of music on your Google account, that's the easy way of transferring some files in. For me, I'm gonna not copy for right now. I wanna try and keep all 32 gigs uh, to actual music plus my stick my own flash drive in here uh, to actually have more flock files, which are larger in size, as you probably know. Now, even though I didn't copy my actual Google file, um, it, it's interesting to see that it actually wants me to sign in with Google. I guess this will make you know purchasing things later or subscription services, that kind of thing, work more flawlessly. 
Now, after getting into Google, actually, there's a series of Google approvals you have to put in there, you know, opting into their terms of service. And then it's going to go ahead and gather your Google account. Even though I didn't really want to send in files, it's interesting. It actually, does want me to log in. There didn't really seem to be an easy way of bypassing. Once you're done with Google, I'll say finishing touches, and that actually gets you the main OS here. So you can see we have the Play Store, which is really useful. Oop, let's go back here. Uh, Play Store, very sensitive touch screen. Play Store, Chrome, and then Google here with YouTube and other apps, which is really nice. We have EQ, and then we have the Walkman, and then the headphones. It looks like my battery is running a little bit low, so I'm gonna go ahead and charge it here. Okay, to recap, this is the Sony NWA306, and this real quick unboxing and setup video I wanted to make separate from the other videos, just so you can kind of see what's all involved in the setup, because I really wasn't able to find a video like that on YouTube myself, okay? I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Again, I will have a link for you right below, so be sure to click that link to get yours at the very best price, and I will have more information about the Sony as far as playability, um, different things as far as setup, um, you know, EQ, um, playlists, etc, etc in a future video. But for now, I just wanted to show you the unboxing experience and the initial setup, okay? All right, friends, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.